Hello guys and welcome back to the 3ds Max asset creation series and in this video I really want to finish it off and I want to go over uh, creating skeletal meshes so the way you do that is by using bones so with bones you can do a few different things they can be used for uh, things like referencing parts of an actual mesh for something in let's say UDK so let's say you're gonna have a weapon you're gonna have like a bone for the left hand the right hand the muzzle flash or anything else you're gonna want also another thing you can do with bones which I'm not gonna show you in this video is you can rig characters ready for animation so bones are gonna be very similar to that of which you have in real life so you're gonna have bones so you can move your arms up and down it just gives the animates a, a little bit of freedom so I'm not gonna show you how to use bones in this video I'm just gonna show you how to create uh, basic bones so at the moment here we've got a uh, bones IK, uh, IK chain and biped so let's just bring in our biped for now and you can see at the moment he's really small and he somewhat reminds me of a programmer so let's go make him slightly bigger quickly okay that didn't come out too well that's better so here we've got our biped our biped will be placed inside of our character and then you can pretty much in a sense weld those bones to the actual character model so Let's say when I move this arm like this, it's going to do the same thing on the character. And you can add your own bones to a biped, but the standard ones can do some things, but you're going to want to be able to do more realistic stuff. So you're not just going to have a standard look. As you can see here now, he's doing some really weird hand animation just like waving to the players so let's just pull that down again and as you can see you can do that with pretty much anything you can move the leg out and then you can move the foot the same way so when you're working with your animation you're gonna have the character moving you're gonna be able to use these bones in a way that just allows you to make realistic animations and there we go uh, it's a really weird animation. I am not the best animator, so let's just bear that in mind and put the leg back down there the way it should be. So, enough of bipeds now. Let's go into proper bones. Let's see if I can delete this whole biped. There we go. So, I've got some sort of weird table thing. So, I'm just going to completely ignore that and I'm going to make a weapon so let's just say I've got a weapon here so I'm just gonna try and imagine it in like 3D shape actually no, I'm just gonna quickly model something extremely basic this is probably the worst weapon I've ever made so try to ignore that and <laughs> be it not so harsh let's just put it like that okay so here we've basically got, essentially got the worst weapon model that you that uh, mankind will ever see so let's say I want to rig this ready for use in UDK as a weapon or something like that we're gonna want to have sockets so you can attach many things to sockets it's not just things like muzzle flashes or the left arm the right arm or stuff like that it's not all unreal script uh, or actual engine side so let's go create a basic bone most of the time when I uh, when I'm going to be rigging a weapon or something I'm going to make sure I'm always 
using all four viewports just to make sure they go in perfectly fine and just how I want them to. So now I've got my bone tool selected, I'm just going to drag one in, there we go. And this is going to be our muzzle socket. So as you can see here, once you drag in a brain, not a brain, sorry, a bone, it just pretty much comes straight out. But when you click, it tries to create another one. So I'm just going to press right click to cancel that and press delete, get rid of it. And I'm going to use my other, my top down viewport now to try and center it where it should be. So that's pretty much essentially where the muzzle flash is going to come out of. And then you're going to do the same with bones on both of the positions with the hands and any of the other things you want to animate. So that's about all I wanted to talk about in this uh, tutorial. Uh, I'm not too sure when I'm going to get around to doing my advanced 3ds Max tutorial where I'm going to do proper rigging, proper animation, so you can get all that stuff ready to uh, be a standard at which you can work in the gaming industry. So, thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.